2% of students that graduate from college graduate with computer science degrees, and that number is actually getting smaller. And it actually looks worse for women. So the whole purpose of this particular event was to encourage students to take computer science in college. There is no doubt there's fewer women Fewer women get funding. Many fewer women have been entering engineering programs or science and STEM fields, and that's what we want to change. I like competitions, but the reason why I like competitions is not who wins, but who plays. What was kind of interesting about this particular um, create-a-thon is that we ended up having, at the high school level, 50% of the participants were women which is amazing considering the fact that 50% of computer scientists are not women. One of the winners today was a 15-year-old high school student uh, who was a girl. And I'm thinking about what I was doing when I was 15. I was absolutely not winning coding competitions. So I, I think it's great. I mean, that means that there are smart women out there who absolutely can compete and win in this field. I think what we really need to do is set up the infrastructure to encourage people to kind of try and build things and this can actually be pretty fun. Celebrations like tonight are about showing how cool um, the, the outcomes are of computing, how it's really a creative field and it's, it's not just about being over a keyboard, but it's about what we can create with technology. The exciting area of computer science actually for me is the ways that you can take that and bring it back into the real world. So for me, there's a real aspect of driving social change as well as technological change. In general, women, more so than men, want to go into a field that they feel passionate about, so they look for the social relevance of the work. So I think the biggest influencing element on learning is, is actually social. And I think the problem right now is that learning to code is kind of a guy's thing from a social perspective. I think we need to change the social norms around it, um, and, I, and I think it needs to become cool in a different way. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's starting to happen, but I think we need to realize it's not just about changing the technology or changing the rules, um, it, it's, it's a cultural thing. Women are more affected than men by the imposter syndrome. This is a, something that affects very high achieving people. High achieving people are highly self-critical and so they always feel like they're not quite good enough and maybe wherever they're at they're actually an, an imposter and people are going to find out they're not good enough. And this affects women more than men and it affects women who are in a male-dominated field. If they're good, recognize that they are good, recognize that feelings of lack of confidence are common among everybody, and actually just jump in there and go for it. That's what I recommend girls do. Research really shows that if women don't think they can do well, let's say they get a C or a D in a course, even in grade school, they'll drop back. And you know what guys say? Guys say, the teacher's stupid, I need to learn this, I'm doing this. And so some of that bias occurs in grade school. And so it's important for men and women to empower our young people. You have to keep on encouraging people from a very early age. I grew up around computers. My dad worked in educational technology, so I never saw it as a something that wasn't open to me to engage with. And so I think that was always why I was drawn to computer science. I, I think if you can get women to realize that, hey, this is something that I can do and it's actually really fun, then there will be more people that, that try to pursue uh, computer science as a, as a major. Hopefully, if we continue to do these kind of events, we'll encourage more and more women to try to pursue computer science because of its creativity.